Alright YouTube, listen up, check it out, okay? Check it out, okay? I did a um a waiver and when doing this waiver, he was kind of thinning in those areas. We kind of already established that. And um, you know, I'm gonna teach you guys how to uh, properly, basically coast the clipper. Okay, like say if you have your clipper here, you put your guard on, you're basically coasting, you know what I'm saying, in that area where you're not really digging in, you're leaving some hair right here and you're cutting in the middle. I'm gonna show you how it's done, okay? Usually, I don't show you guys how to do the side taper. I show you guys how to do the side tapers, but I don't show you how to do the back taper. I'm gonna show you how to do the back taper on this particular waiver. Bars, okay, bars. But still, I'm gonna show you how to do the back. Um, I use the clipper over comb and yeah, okay. Just stay tuned. So before you just start cutting, what you want to do is comb the hair first, lift those waves off of the scalp, and just comb in the direction that the waver has his waves uh, pattern going in. So my client doesn't have his crown too developed yet, so right now I'm combing in the way of the swirl in which his hair should be combed in by having that pattern. So um, I'm just combing through it, making sure I check for calyx and just check for inconsistencies in his hair. All right, so my client said he wanted a five on top. So right now I got the five guard on with the lever closed and I'm just going with the grain of his pattern. Now, as I get to his thinner spots um, in the front, I'm just gonna coast the guard uh, over that area. I'm not gonna dig in and take that um, area any lower than it needs to be. Honestly, I don't really wanna cut too much off in that area, so like I said, I'm going to lift the, the, the back heel of the blade and just coast it. So now that I coasted everything on the sides uh, where he was thinning at, I'm just gonna run the clipper right down the middle so that I could take down that area and that area only. So next thing you wanna do is do a brush session, brush his hair back down. And I know some of you guys are gonna be thinking, why would you leave that uh, thin spot longer? Um, when he has his do-rag on, everything is matted down anyway, so it, it doesn't matter if um, that area is longer or not because we wear our do-rag so much that it lays it down. So what I like to do is take the edges down a guard size lower, if not a little bit more so that area could lay down even better. Um, so right now I got my foreguard on and I'm just uh, taking down the edges. So I noticed that it wasn't taken down uh, low enough. So I went with the three guard open and just took it down right at the edge. So using my Babyliss Skeleton FX trimmers, I'm gonna set in my bald line real low. My client doesn't want me to go up too far into his waves. So I'm trying to set my guide line as low as possible. Now with the one guard with the lever open, I'm going up only like a half inch and that's probably the highest I will go. Now with the lever open, I'm going up about half of that, keeping it as low as possible, kind of in a flick out motion. Now putting on the zero guard with the lever closed, in a flick out motion, I'm flicking out that middle line. Now it's gonna be real hard, it's gonna be tough, but use your corners as much as possible. Make sure not to go up too high. 
So sometimes using that zero guard close, it's not gonna take out um, too much of that middle line. So right now I use the lever open and I'm just using my corners to take out the bolt. So next, with no guard, with the lever halfway, I'm basically softening up that bottom line. Now with the lever fully closed in a flick out motion, use your corners, flick out that bottom line. So now I'm gonna take down some of that bulk on top by running my two guard with the grain with the lever open. So next I'm gonna do some detail work using my corners, just trying to debulk some of those areas where I see bulk. And the best thing that you can do is look in the mirror because the mirror does not lie. It shows you everything that you need to know. It shows you all the imperfections. Sometimes you might need to rest your eyes for a minute and come back and then look at it from a brand new set of eyes. So when it comes to the back, I do the same exact things, but I try to keep the back as low as possible. So I start off with my ball line and then I go right into my one guard with the lever open and I'm going up, making sure that I use my comb as a way to stop that stop me from going so far up. After that, I'm going to use clipper over comb to basically build the shape. Next, I'm gonna take the two guard to blend into that shape that I built using the clipper of a comb. Next, I'm gonna go down with the one guard and just basically notch every little hair that I see out of place, basically blending into that two. Next, I'm gonna go with my normal steps with the lever open and just make sure that I get everything at that length. Then, with the zero guard closed, I'm gonna use my corners and notch at that middle line, starting from below the line, flicking out to the line. And lastly, I'm gonna take off the guards and basically put the lever fully closed and just adjust my lever as I go, taking out that bottom line in a flick out motion. Then, detail work, that's most important, okay? That separates you from being an average barber to a real detailed, good barber. Your clients are definitely gonna know the difference.
So the last step you want to take is basically closing that lever and doing a freehand trim on top. Now you could also do this with shears. I just like to do it with the clippers. It's way more faster to me and you could just glide it across the hair and get everything nice and neat. This finishes off the cut, makes everything look complete. Listen, let me tell you why they call me 360. When they sit in my chair, I spin them in the full 360, and they come out looking like... Damn, son, where'd you find this? We make it look easy. You too, this is The Cut. And if you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Also, Hustle Dreams Production, that's my brother. He does all my beats. His YouTube channel will be linked in the description below. Also, if you want to know where you can find any tools that you send in this video, links will be in the description below. Otherwise, you guys can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My TikTok is official360gz and my Instagram is 360g. But it's your boy 360gz and I'm out of here. Chip.